Well, I think it's important to understand, to begin with, gender roles are important. I know in Western society that's looked frowned upon, but in indigenous societies, we have very real um, gender roles that we adhere to. So that's how we begin to define who we are, what our responsibility is, and um, create the, the boundaries for that. In your way, what is the, the feminine role and what is the masculine role? Well, the, we're charged with giving life maintaining life, sustaining life. So that involves wellness, emotional wellness, nurturing um, the foods that we feed ourselves and our families, um, the responsibility of nurturing our children, and recognizing that our men need nurturing. Nurturing is a natural, inherent characteristic for women because we are capable of giving life. With a male, it has to be learned. So we recognize that with our, our men and our young males. So the first few years of a young male's life is surrounded by the mother, the aunties, the grandmother, so that they can feel and learn of the nurturing and the love before they go off to become a boy and a young man. And within your marriage, if you could just briefly talk to us about what is the balance within your marriage with the masculine and the feminine, or the matriarchal and the patriarchal? Well, we, because we recognize the difference, we honor the, the differences, we can celebrate the differences. I recognize my husband's strengths, and I try not to argue with that. And at the same time, my husband recognizes and celebrates my strengths. So there's it eliminates any competition. And males, we know, are very pragmatic. They um, are very strategic thinkers, problem solvers, and that's what they're they're charged with. And because we as women, we have an inherent power that you can't necessarily see or define, but you can feel it. And when you operate within that power, and that's very much respected in indigenous societies. In fact, in Western society, women after the second change of life are discarded. Yet in our societies, that's when we really become uh, fully recognized and uh, celebrated. And uh, because we're at that point coming from uh, a perspective of experience, um, we're no longer dealing with the hormonal changes and imbalances. So we're able to uh, be more critical thinkers, and we have we always maintain that woman power that guides us and directs us. So uh, we really hold a celebrated um, part in our society, as well as our relationships amongst our families, the uh, the clans, the the individual, the normally it's the eldest female of that clan has the last word. So there's a lot of respect. We could learn from that. Mr. Means, tell me about your wife's strength. Well, first I want to say something about men go from diaper to diaper. Simple fact. You need a woman at the beginning of life to take care of you and at the end of your life. And if you're foolish enough not to recognize that throughout your life, you'll never know love as a male. You'll never know love. And that's the one thing I appreciate. You know, the, a mother's love doesn't stop 
with her children and goes to her mate and to be a recipient excuse me of that deep love that is stronger than I could ever hope to be wow I am so blessed I am so blessed and recognizing that as a male I will always throughout every portion of my life need nurturing yeah and <clears throat> you can't get it by yourself you can't get it from the mirror you can only get it from your life mate and uh and like I say, I'm so blessed. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. But at least with my pearl, I've been a great mystery has watched over me. And I, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm a typical little boy. I struggle against some of her wisdoms. No, I don't want to do it that way. And uh, then I start feeling a little bit sheepish, and I realize she was right. Yeah. So I make a decision based on that. Uh, the guidance that the females give to the male never stops from diaper to diaper. And... Uh, the women do not go from diaper to diaper. They go from diaper to a full flowering of beauty. We men, we have a shorter life expectancy. So that's why indigenous society, matriarchal societies, matrilineal way of living, is based on a lot of intricacies. For instance, we d men do not marry until their feet, their mature body is firmly planted on the ground. They have their path ahead of them for the rest of their life. Then they look for a woman. A contemporary woman? No, that woman's already been married and had kids. He looks for the young woman who is entering her first budding of flowerhood to marry because in, ma in matrilineal living, you understand you're going to live a shorter life. Who's going to take care of you? You need a mother at all times. Now, to a p patriarch, that sounds primitive. That sounds ridiculous. And even to the female patriarch, that sounds ridiculous. What, do you give us all the work and all the responsibility? Hey, you're the only human being that goes through two changes of life. It gets more beautiful with each stage of your life. We men don't get to go through that. We don't get to understand the completeness of nurturing. You know? We never outgrow our childhood. 